All right, one, two, three, eyes on me. So good morning class, my name is Miss Broom. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about the sum of odds and even. So an even is a number that ends in two, four, six, eight, or zero. And it can be made into equal pairs, so equal parts of two with nothing left over. An odd is a number that ends in one, three, five, seven, or nine, and cannot be made into equal pairs because there will always be something left over. So let's look at some examples of odds and evens. So the number four, is it odd or even? Right, even. So if I have four little circles, I can split these into two. I can split these into two equal pairs and there's nothing left over. But if we look at the number three, I can only split it into one equal pair. So I only have one equal pair of two and there's something left over. I can't make this into two equal pairs. So an even will have nothing left over, and odd will have always something will always have something left over. So a little trick to help you remember these things. So I have two little songs that you can remember your odds and your evens. So I'm gonna sing it and then we'll sing it a second time and I want you guys to sing with me. Ready? So two, four, six, eight, ten. Now you know you're even. Alright, so are you guys ready to try it with me? Alright. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now you know you're even. And then for our odd, so you can, a little trick to help you remember your odd numbers. All right, I'm gonna sing it once, and then I want you guys to sing it with me, okay? There was a farmer who had a cow, and odd was his name. Oh, one, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. And odd was his name. Oh, all right, you guys ready to try with me? Okay. There was a farmer who had a cow, and odd was his name. Oh, one, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. And odd was his name. Oh, all right, great job, guys. So, moving on. So let's look at some of our steps that we have. So I'm going to pass out a paper, a little handout for you guys. And this handout has all of the vocabulary that we just talked about and some visuals, some pictures to help you remember. And then it's also gonna have the steps that we're about to go over. So let me hand those out real quick. All right, so now if you will look at your paper, let's, we're gonna read the steps with me, okay? So, step number one, we need to figure out, is it odd or even? So if I have the number eight, is eight an odd number or an even number? It's even, right? even. So then I'm going to add it to the number six. Is this one even or odd? Even. So now let's add these two together. So someone raise their hand, tell me what eight plus six is. Yeah. 14. <clears throat> So, is 14 an odd or an even number? Because one is an odd number. But if we look at our definition, it's a number that ends. So the second number, the last number of the number is the one that you need to look at. So is four an odd or even? An even, correct. <coughs> okay, so our step one is to look at the first number. We figure out, is it odd or even? Step two is to look at the second number. Figure out if it's odd or even. Step three, add the two numbers together and then write down your answer. Step four is to write whether your answer is odd or even. And then step five, we're going to write down um, <clears throat> the problem. So you'll write down what your problem is. So this one is an even plus an even is going to equal another even. So let's do a couple more example problems. And I want you guys 
to write down these example problems in your notes with me. <coughs> All right, so five plus seven. Five plus seven. Is five an even or an odd number? Odd. That's step one. Step two. Is the second number an odd or even number? An odd number. All right, so step three, we're going to add these two together. So what is five plus seven? Twelve. Is twelve an odd or even number? Even, correct. So we have step one. We figured out that five is an odd number. Step two, we figured out that seven is an odd number. Step three, we added them together and got our answer, and we figured out whether the answer was odd or even. So now, let's look at um, the rule. So an odd plus an odd is going to equal an even. So an even plus an even equals an even, and an odd plus an odd equals an even. So let's look at if we add an odd and an even together, or an even and an odd. So I have two plus nine. So two is an even number. And nine is an odd number. So what is two plus nine? 11, correct. 11, so 11, is that an odd or an even number? Remember, we look at the second number, not the first one. 11 is an odd number. So an even plus an odd is going to equal another odd. So even plus odd equals odd. Odd plus odd equals even, and even plus even equals odd. No, even plus even equals an even. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not trying to confuse you. So let's look at one more about what, when you add an odd and an even. So let's do three plus four. So three is an odd. Four is an even. Four is an even. And three plus four is gonna equal what? Seven. And seven is an odd number. So an odd, an odd plus an even equals an odd. So now let's look at um, all right so now I'm going to give you guys some example problems and I want you to do them underneath the example problems that we did on the board with each other and then I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes to figure them out and then we're going to go over them as a class So I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes to figure these out in your notebooks and then we'll go over them together. All right, your 10 minutes is up. So now we are going to go over these as a class. So let's look at this first one. So is four an even or odd? Even. So four is an even, eight is an even, and four plus eight equals 12, and 12 is an even. So 
So an even plus an even equals an even. So your next one was three plus seven. So three is an odd. Seven is an odd. And three plus seven equals 10. And what is 10, an even or an odd? An even. So an odd plus an odd is going to equal an even. So let's do one more. We'll do six plus three. So six is an even. Three is an odd. And three plus six equals nine, which is also an odd. So an even plus an odd equals an odd. So let's stop here for a second and go over any questions that anyone has. All right, so now I'm going to pass out your homework. Um, you're going to be doing problems just like these, um, and we'll go over it tomorrow in class to make sure that everyone has it down. Um, so today we learned about the sum, what the sum of odds and evens are. So like when you add an even and an even, you get an even, right? What about if you add an odd and an even? What do we get? An odd, correct. Okay, so that is our lesson for today, guys. I hope you guys learned and have a great day.